It's fall, so you know what that means. East Coast Rep Rap Festival is right around the corner. In fact, it's this weekend, September 30th to October 1st, 2023. And we're going to be there. Oh, man, there's a lot to see. Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be going to the East Coast Rep Rap Festival in just a couple of days. It's gonna be an awesome time. And if you're gonna be there, please make sure to come up and say hi. We're gonna have some awesome stuff with us and you know, some extra stuff that we might have. Come up and say hi. It'll be a lot of fun. Oh, hey, look. There was me. <laughs> but seriously, come up and say hi. If we aren't filming, please grab me, take a photo, whatever. It's gonna be an awesome event. Last year was absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to come up here and visit you guys and talk with you in person because we've together. Yeah, chat online. But yeah, it's, it's not the same as being able to shake your hand. Do it officially. Yeah, officially. Wait a minute. I can feel the resistance. Yes. No. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Yes. No. Yes. I love cob lights. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. It's the same. We're developed in KiCad, modeled in FreeCAD. You're in KiCad? Yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss. We love it. And you did this in FreeCAD? All of it. You're a masochist. Yeah, we all are. That thing, if you crash it into your bed, everything around it will break, but that thing will stay, you know, intact without any issues. Is that a challenge? Try it. You know, the failures and even the successes have uh, never tasted so sweet. Did you stick my chocolate? Definitely don't have a printables banner that's going up on the set. Oh, you definitely didn't uh, take it from the party yesterday. I was told that I could. You could hang from this if you want to. That's our XDR. I'm good, I'm gonna break something if I try that. <laughs> Let's talk about Obsidian. The most, I, I always I feel embarrassed talking about it, the most long-awaited nozzle in history because literally no one in the world has ever awaited a nozzle before. But stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. Donate to the Sanjay Mortimer Foundation. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. But there is a bunch of awesome sponsors this year with some great events. Everything from 3D printing derby, death racers, top fuel dragsters, and more. And something that I'm really excited for, some awesome talks over at the build platform, including E3D and Diamondback collaboration across the pond. You know, Diamondback, the people that have sponsored us in the past. I'm so excited to see them again because the Diamondback guys are awesome. But we also have some really cool talks like the one from Piopoly or Piopoly, Breaking Boundaries, a new motion system for 3D printing. Piopoly is releasing a new printer. In fact, it's already been released as of the release of this video. I just don't know what it is. Sorry, not that cool yet. Coming soon, TM. Hey, Grant from the future here. Um, I did not expect a printer this cool, so... Let's talk about it real quick. Even Victoria is excited. This Magneto X from Piopoli is freaking amazing. Running stock clipper, Orca slicer, 300 by 400 by 300 millimeter build volume, which is pretty darn good. But the big thing here is maglev. This printer is seriously cool. I'm kind of really excited because they're using magnets. But the real question is, how they work? We're going to be checking this out for sure at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival. And uh, here's hoping your boy gets a review unit because I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. But uh, I'm kind of feeling a bit of bamboo, not bamboo, bamboo. This printer 
if it holds anything up to what I feel like it's going to, is going to destroy the sub $2,000 market. You figure there's a pretty big gap between the $1,000 and $2,000 market, and even at like the $800 market, right? Let's bring in the Mark IV into this. This printer is offering a lot of value at the price point, and at a retail of $1,400, bucks, are you serious right now? I'm sorry, but all fully kitted out retail price you're looking at less than $2,500 ridiculous print speeds ridiculous travel speeds acceleration 22,000 millimeters per second squared with a really generous rectangular build volume which might seem kind of dumb to some people but I think it's actually pretty smart because it's not often you need to print something that's more than 300 square but when you do it's often not more than 300 in both axes. So it gives a lot of flexibility. This kind of printer at this kind of price class has got me crazy hyped and I cannot wait to see it at the East Coast Rap Rap Festival. This required a future grant. We were not gonna do a future grant, but then we saw it and oh my gosh, it requires a future grant. There are no belts. There are no pulleys. It's magnets. How do they work? But just everything that you would want. Stock clipper, right? And they're supporting clipper. They're supporting Orca Slicer, right? Piopoli is the first sponsor of Orca Slicer, allowing Orca to continue making updates. Because, you know, it's kind of expensive to not get paid and do a ton of work on your own. This might actually start to give Pantheon a run for their money. Yeah, you heard me say that. I'm pretty hyped right now, so I probably got to give myself a couple of days to calm down from this, but I'm just saying, if this printer holds up to what, in theory, it should, this is going to change the prosumer market of 3D printing as we know it. I'd be lying if I wasn't crazy excited. I am so excited to see this at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, as well as make sure that we record the entire talk that they're going to be giving on changing the way that we look at motion systems for 3D printers, going away from belts and pulleys and moving to freaking magnets. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's pass it back to past Grant because future Grant's really excited for this. And it's already been a couple of hours. I've waited a few hours to try to, you know, get grounded on this, but I can't because it is so freaking cool. All right, past Grant, it's your show. Take it away. And we're going to be recording some of these. So if you guys want to see them, please let us know. And we'll make sure to get some of the ones that people say. But we're going to only release the unedited versions to our Patreon members because we're going to do some changing this year. We're not going to have hour long super cuts of all the videos and things that we did there. Instead, we're going to have lots of smaller videos with one to two, maybe three interviews total. This is a lot because of the layout being changed this year with sponsors being on the main floor and makers being on the top deck looking down. It's actually going to be a really cool setup and should get more of us up to that top deck where we didn't spend a whole lot of time last year. Who would you guys like to see? You know we're going to be visiting Coco Press. You know we're going to be visiting Printed Solid, Prusa, Slice Engineering, West 3D, Wham Bam, Eldia. There are so many people we're going to be seeing and I would love to know who you all want us to take a look at and what you want us to ask. And if we're lucky, we're going to get to go up against Jeff in a tug of war. Man versus machine. The robot's going to win. All right. I don't even have to know this. The robot's going to win. But it's a really cool thing to see where 3D Gloop took a Fanic robot arm and turned it into a tug of war machine. Because what else would you do with a giant robot arm? I would strap a racing seat to it because that would be a lot of fun. But as you can see, there are a lot of exhibitors as well this year with even some smaller people here on the main floor. We're excited to be able to cover this kind of thing and don't worry we are gonna go back to printed solid as well we're here at printed solid it's a little bit windy so let's go inside and let's see what's going on we've got the man himself mr. Dave Randolph here working hard at getting your orders out the door we got a lot going on behind these doors here we're gonna be moving into the filament line I'm surrounded by big heavy machinery and that's what I love to be surrounded by let's go see where this starts off as pellets. It starts out. It 
So stay tuned because we're going to be showing you how filament is made. Literally, we're going to make our own custom color at printed solid. And if we're lucky, we're going to get to extrude it as well. But minimally, at least pick the color and see what it looks like. And I'm kind of excited for that because this is part of our next step in producing our own products. This is for the politician our device that filters and produces hot air because it's a politician. But to do that, we needed to have our own custom color because, well, we're not going to open source it and we're not going to patent it because that is all a pain in the ass. So instead, we're going to stick to just making a custom color and hoping that it is good enough. But Earth last year was just so much fun talking with some of the awesome people that are on this list right here. And there are some newcomers this year, like Hue Forge, a software that I have bought, but I haven't used it yet. So if you guys do want to see some videos on Hue Forge, let me know because it is something that I'm really interested in. It's uh, a pretty cool software. But there's also exhibitors this year that we didn't have last year with one of the big ones for me being Creality. Creality is making one of their first appearances on the East Coast with a fairly large booth. We can see it right here. And uh, you know I'm gonna go and ask some questions. Now, Creality also has a share fest occurring, but it was informed to me that uh, we were apparently too late in getting one of the 45 tickets. So that's not gonna happen. Unless you guys want me to just walk in and see what happens. Let me know what you want in those comments below. Happen to know the people putting on the event and, you know, maybe we can uh, sneak our way in sneakily with cameras calling ourselves the press. We'll see where that goes. But there are going to be some awesome announcements coming out, like from Piopoli or Piopoli, of course. Apparently, Diamondback is going to have some really cool stuff with the folks over at E3D. And you know, of course, we're going to be stopping over at E3D. How can we not? They're always a great group of fun. But I also see that Sovol is there with two booths, which could be a little interesting. We got BQ and Big Tree Tech. Fabrico's got a big booth. So there's a lot of really cool companies that are showing up and showing off. So I would love to know from you guys, what would you like to see us take a look at? Who would you like us to interview? And what questions would you like us to ask? Because I could use your help here. And hey, merch coming soon with enamel pins as well as custom shirts. All of this has been in the works for a while, and if you do want to get insider information for what we're doing and why, you can join our Patreon at the $10 tier and higher via the links in that description down below. But hey, not everyone's got some cash to drop. Like and subscribe goes a long way to helping this channel grow where we can do more events like this. This one is pretty much 100% out of pocket for us. We're getting a little bit of cash from a couple of organizations, but it is nowhere near enough to cover the cost. So we want to make sure that we're making videos that you guys will want to watch because I'm going to love doing them no matter what. And then, hey, maybe that way we can try to at least cover our costs for the trip. <laughs> but I am really excited because it was an amazing event last year. It was my first ever 3D printing event. And I hope to see a lot of you here at the East Coast Repa Festival up in Bel Air, Maryland. But yeah, seriously, if you see us out and about, please come up and say hey. I met so many awesome people at the Rocky Mountain Rep Fest and signed a lot of things. In fact, I need to remember to pack some permanent markers with me this year. So if you want us to sign anything, we are totally down for it. We want to say hey and meet some of our fans. So uh, yeah, come say hi. But that's it, guys. Would love to get your assistance in knowing what you want to see because I'm excited for some really, really cool times there. I got to try to find a way to film all of this because boy, howdy. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have upgraded our camera gear so much. So we're hoping to provide so much new and exciting content in a much higher quality fashion where we're now filming in 4K for these events with wireless lav mics that are going to sync to cameras. And editor Andrew might love me or hate me by the time we're done with this. We haven't exactly figured out, but we're bringing over half a dozen cameras to make this kind of thing happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I really hope to see you all there. This weekend, September 30th and October 1st in Bel Air, Maryland. That's all I got for you guys today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and a massive thank you goes out to all of our channel supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Thank you for all that you guys do in making things possible, including things like merch coming soon.
TM. Right below me will be our coverage of the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, which occurred earlier this year. And next to that will be our coverage of the East Coast Rep Rap Festival 2022, which was a ton of fun. And I am so, so excited for 2023. I will see you all down in those comments and I will hopefully see quite a few of you at Earth. And I will of course see you in the next one. Take care.